All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, got a really good night's sleep last night and two nights ago, so recovering pretty nicely. So now my body's entered the uh, get rid of the phlegm phase because now it doesn't need it anymore to fight off the little cold infection that I got. So um, forgot today is Friday. So that means, um, yeah, going to be the last video of the week uh, since now we're taking the weekend off. Unless, of course, something significant happens, you know, whether it's just personally and, you know, I need to tell everyone, you know, with the markets or whatever, or just some, something big, something that's obviously like re requ what would require a video. Because I also spent yesterday going through a Bracky's tutorial about the health bar. And uh, it, it just turns out I just cannot fix the problem simply because of the nature of what I'm doing. So I'm just going to have my game be like, um, I guess, Diablo-ish, right? Where there's just simply a target at the top. And then whenever you hit something, it'll just show up there. I'll eventually have to create some sort of like thing where it says um, either a picture or at least the name of the enemy that you're hitting. Or, you know, uh, something like that. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but for now, I just need the thing to work. Right? I can worry about the cosmetic stuff later. Well, actually, I do have to worry about the cosmetics because it's right there. So, I mean, it only requires like an extra line of code or two. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but, you know, um, when I think about it, yeah, I think I'm like trying to like maybe modify the story a little bit. And then also, um, you know, I've been watching Final, Sa Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, I could wind up just making a really good single player game experience. But then I'll have a little bit of multiplayer, and then just work on whatever each time. And then, of course, the whole game will be free, so, you know. You know, if I do it right, I should be able to get enough page views so that, like, I'll be able to sustain it. Because I found, when I was watching the Brachys tutorial, he actually uh, mentioned one of the web hosts that I use that I u to use to uh, host some of my websites, Hostinger. They actually offer a pretty reasonable cloud hosting plan. And they have like a really expensive one that does 80 bucks a month with the Google Cloud. It's really cheap. And you get like dedicated resources too. So personally, I don't know what the difference between that and a VPS is. I just know that VPSs tend to be very expensive. So I, I don't know. But, um, either way, um, uh, Brackies was getting, from, um, getting paid to promote that. It's really reasonable, actually. I'm going to take a look at it right now. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, I had my uh, proxy off. No wonder everything was loading so fast. Um, cloud hosting. Um, I mean, Amazon's actually the best. The problem is Amazon uh, requires like you have a lot of experience and know what you're doing. And like you're just gonna do everything yourself. It's like oh, okay, that's that's too user unfriendly even for me. Uh, but they are actually the best because um, Microsoft Playfab and Photon use Amazon Web Servers to offer their services. So you know, but why is there a middleman? Yeah, because it's really hard to use it. All right, I don't know any of this crap, so I have to use a middleman. I can barely understand anything that Photon or Playfab, I mean, Playfab doesn't even have the documentation, it's still working on it. So this stuff is actually pretty cheap, but make sure you read the little fine print here. This is the actual price, so, you know, 80 bucks, um, 80 bucks a month when you renew, 31 when you, so basically it's like twice what this is. Um, so in my case, this all comes with unlimited bandwidth, so I'll probably, I would probably probably buy this one, yeah, that's considered the most popular. If I feel comfortable making a shit ton of money, I can always probably upgrade to this. Probably, it, it wouldn't be hard. I mean, it wouldn't be hard because it's cloud hosting. So it's like, oh, okay, just throw, just, just add in our computer. Well, actually, a whole rack of computers, and then it'll be, uh, it'll be good. And of course, in the single player, there's no, there's no multiplayer component to it. So it's like, oh, I don't care, if people cheat, all right? Just make sure you're clicking that fucking refresh button so I get the ad revenue. <laughs> That's all I care about. Yeah. So this is looking really nice. This is actually looking really, really nice. So it's quite exciting to see, like, you know, what can be done in the end. But I have to keep working on my game. I especially probably need to also change the, like, starting area. Because, I mean, I'm going to do it anyway. But, you know, it's not that ugly default, like, you know, whatever shit that I have on my thing right now. 
which looks like which looks like that. Like the UI looks pretty cool, but everything else is like, what the hell? <laughs> so, yeah. But we'll, we can easily change that. It's got to get the good graphics for it. Um, actually, yeah, I think open opengameart.org uh, probably has some good grass I could use. Because I already have the roads, but I need the grass and the concrete, of course. All right. Anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for this week are still 12. Uh, I already refreshed this many times, so this should be accurate. Bitcoin is at 64% dominance. 24 of on is basically a little under 131 billion. Bitcoin's been up and down a lot, so it's 70, 74, as I've been saying. Uh, it doesn't deserve to go up any higher because, again, we need to reopen the world, and uh, it's already on the way. Um, so, uh, Andrew Cuomo is like kind of changing the timetable, so I need to see what's going to be happening there. Litecoin's at 42.35. Well, speaking of which, Trump did actually say he's released guidelines already for um, reopening America. So we're, we're already on our way. So giving at least another two weeks. And then we can start seeing what, um, and we should start seeing some progress. Litecoin, <clears throat> hold on. Ah. <clears throat> ah. Yeah. See, I really have to get rid of my weight so I can still have the constant infl chronic inflammation. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I still get inflammation, but it's just a lot more subtle now. Which is much better than before, where it was chronic and I was constantly breaking out. Now it's just happening on the under underside. So now I just have to lose more weight. And it's getting harder, too, because I'm deliberately trying to cut calories. And I just keep getting hungrier and hungrier. So it's like, it's, it's so irritating. Litecoin's at 42.35, so no real surprise. Doggy coins at 248.3 million market cap. Uh, where's Steam? Oh, looks like it's been dropping. Uh, yep, it is. 15.30 cents. So it's about the same as yesterday. Uh, looks like markets are up today. Yeah, like I said, it's not really going to go up or down. It's just going to do like whatever it does. You know, here's Remel going all over the place. RF. Yeah, so everything's going up nicely today. Uh, California governor, uh, APG, plans to make 10 million masks a month to fight coronavirus. Yeah, I mean, they're starting to require people to wear masks now, at least here in New York City, for like certain things like riding the subway. But you can't buy them. Where the hell can you get them, right? But for events like this, yeah, Disney's got like 11 gajillion dollars, right? Because from all the Infinity Wars Marvel shit, so. Uh, how you made 2.8 million stock trade. New York, New York, America, no, that's an ad. Oh, a $28 billion fund is navigating Corona Chan. Well, yeah, they call it Corona Chan, but it's really coronavirus. But <laughs> I always found Corona Chan also kind of funny. Technically, it's also kind of racist, but. Mark Cuban, but I've been watching a lot of Moon Moon, so he calls everything Chan. Right? It's just funny. Mark is moving to cash ahead of what the billionaire sees as another rough stretch for the blah. I mean, it's helping American people. Gasoline is selling 12. This is so good. It's a gallon. Nobody wants it. Well, yeah. I mean, what's the... Wow, 12 cents a gallon? Jeez. Stake and Shake CEO, Seattle-based investor slams Cracker Barrel over coronavirus decision. Love, and a content that lacks any. Okay, so it's just assholes screaming at each other. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything significant. Okay. <clears throat> uh, JMC coins at 7 to 8. Not too bad. Uh, 404 is also pretty stable. 7 to 8. Uh, 2 by 2, 67 to 68. Doing very well. Um, Let's see, compound coins at 6,500 to 7,000 Satoshis of a dog coin. Uh, so, looks work, looks good. Let's see, math works. Uh, QE will drive Bitcoin prices up. Well, yeah, I mean, there's ultimately going to be more dollars chasing uh, securities and assets so and commodities. So the money's got to go somewhere. It's not going to sit in people's bank. Most people will not be doing what I'm doing, which is just hoard cash. Uh, though in my case, I'm actually hoarding uh, cryptocurrency. Other people will be hoarding, you know, stocks or uh, ideally real estate if you can afford to do that, right? Because the best what the best is to always hold real estate and then just get rid of like the debt and shit on it. So that way, when you have a downturn like what's happening now, you're not going to be in a situation where you can't pay your rent, you can't pay your property taxes, you cannot pay the mortgage, and, and then you're completely fucked. 
All right. So that's what you want to avoid. <clears throat> uh, blah, 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 pastry, uh, more crap, more crap. Uh, this would take uh, to change my mind about Bitcoin. How about we get become billionaires like Mark Cuban and then he'll change his mind. And then at that point, it'll be too late. Um, judge puzzled. God, Craig Wright. They, we really should just not have have people cover Craig Wright. Uh, Karan Stimacheks are going on guns, tigers, and Bitcoin. Well, that's people. That's why people are using it to feed their tigers. Because <clears throat> I know you're not allowed to have a tiger here in New York City. So, crypto market surges over 200 billion Bitcoin. The D soar. Blah 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 blah. That was seven hours ago. <clears throat> yeah, because it was soaring and then it came back down. Yeah, I mean it's just. It's just normal whatever volatility. Uh, Trump should still be way ahead of Joe Biden. Like I just can't. I just cannot believe people are this fucking retarded. Like they're actually gonna vote for somebody who like mentally is just not there. It's like I mean, there's a reason why a lot of people don't like democracy now because they see stupid shit like this. You know, you could solve the problem by just giving everybody an IQ test, and it's easy for me because yeah, I'm gonna pass it. You know, most people wouldn't. <laughs> But even if I don't pass, and then that means like only a few people in America could vote. So, Ripple poised to sell XRP for twenty one more years. Here's how much crypto payments. Sorry, really. Uh, crypto Bill says one altcoin reminds of a Bitcoin. Ethereum. Facebook revamps crypto plan and battle bid to launch global currency. So you know, supply shocks. Well, blah 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 blah. YouTube bad Bitcoin crypto. Tony Vays removes all. Of <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, you know, not uh, needless to say, he was a fucking retard. So I'm glad he's actually gone. But it's actually a bad sign that he got uh, censored. Also, he did stand up for Alex uh, Jones when he got censored. So I'm gonna find out what happened. But I can already kind of figure out why. Pro cryptocurrency currency pack plans to send to Washington D.C. Yeah. So the new so the new lobbyists. You know, before it was Silicon Valley, now it'll be cryptocurrency people. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how this dynamic will play out in 5, 10, 15, 20 years. You know, people like me, people like you, right? You know, people who get inspired by us. Like, you know, will we will we become like the piece of shit villains that like Silicon Valley has become? Or will we actually be, you know, Batman, right? You know, <clears throat> like, you know, we'll, we'll, our, you know we'll, live, we'll, 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 we'll go bankrupt as heroes or... Uh, get rich enough to become uh, become the villains. You know, try, I'm trying to really change the Dark Knight thing, but you get the idea. Intel heats up race for scalable quantum computers and announces qubit breakthrough. Oh boy, no, um, the race for com quantum computing is on. All right, so there's actually some pretty good articles finally in Daily Holdall. So uh, let's see, coronavirus. Oh yeah, this thing thinks. Oh, actually, this was before I turned on the thing. Uh, man, who warned of coronavirus? Says got time. <clears throat> uh, we'll go through the weekend after small business funds dry up. Okay, so they're gonna be doing some more bailouts, so that's good. Uh, who really grocery? No need to wipe. Them. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, no need to wipe down food packaging. FDA says. Um, uh, I don't believe this to be honest. Uh, well, I'm sure that there's no evidence of human or animal food or food packaging being associated with transmission of coronavirus. <coughs> uh, yeah, uh, well, yeah, but I mean, it's already been proven that coronavirus can still survive on surfaces. Like, in fact, um, when Amazon had their coronavirus problem here in Queens, like in their big warehouse here. Uh, they actually said it could survive for up to 24 hours on like cardboard, so you still gotta be kind of careful. Uh, yeah. All right, so that probably just means like it just doesn't survive on this plastic, which wouldn't make sense because there's literally no organic matter. It, it it's literally on the plastic wrapping surface. <clears throat> And the uh, food supply chain, right? The people who are actually handling the food, they probably are clean. So, I mean, they kind of have to by nature because you're handling food. So if you're sick, your germs going to get on the food. And then when you get the food and eat it, you know, you're, you're going to get sick. So, you know, we're, we're very secure in that regard. 
But I mean, if you're that paranoid, I guess you could wash the plastic wrapping just to be safe. I mean, I don't. Because <clears throat> at this point, everyone's already doing a pretty good job, so. Uh, this is 22 hours ago. Did this thing even refresh correctly? Yeah, I thought so. What? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, he uh, he didn't tweet anything new. Okay. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, Brady, uh, end your endless vacation. You know, why who ignore an email from Taiwan? Health officials and leaders earlier learned the possibility that coronavirus was being well. Why who makes several claims? Yeah, see, there are a lot of liberals right now. Normally, I don't want to be bashing liberals, but in this case, their behavior is just beyond the pale. Right, right now they're like, we want more money, or you know, we should keep everything shut down, or why are we defunding the who? It's like, can you like just stop being a fucking f word partisan for one second and actually look at the facts? Right, we're in this mess because of shit like this. Right, you know, uh, like I don't really like Cuomo here, right? Because obviously I'm a right center right wing guy, but he's doing a good job. So can other fucking assholes do the same thing for? You know, like we can get, you can go back to being an asshole after this is over, but not right now because this is a crisis. <clears throat> all right, you're literally going to get us all f killed, and this is the and like this is exactly what happened. Who was covering up coronavirus for China and the CCP, and on top of that, it's making people hate Chinese people. So it's like a double problem. All right, why? Because nobody likes liars, and people are going to find out the truth. So, you know, we got Taiwan, the Taiwan, the Taiwanese government was actually telling us, hey, this could actually be a real problem. Right. And then it got and then who, of course, ignored them. So and they also got rid of the they also kicked, uh, kicked them out of the who as well. Right. Because, again, China is in their pocket. So and it like, oh, no, 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 we got to keep who funded. It's like, what is wrong with you? Like, seriously, what is wrong? With you? Are you deliberately trying to get us all killed? Right. And, and, and again, this is why I find this so irritating. It's like these same people are voting for Joe Biden. Like you stupid fucking assholes. Like you're evil people. All right. Not all of you, but a lot of a lot of you. All right. A lot of you that are like supporting this shit. It's like what's what's the matter with you? And it's just annoying. Thank God for truckers. <clears throat> I assume. At a time of widespread shutdowns, truck drivers mm. form the lifeblood of our economy. And for days and sometimes weeks at end, truck drivers leave true. their That's homes and value. deliver supplies yeah. that American families need and count on during this national crisis. Their routes connect every farm, hospital, manufacturer, business, and community in the country. From the moment <clears throat> the invisible enemy landed on our shores, America's 3.5 million truckers <clears throat> never wavered at all. And they've never, ever left us down when we supply our country we supply it through truckers to every trucker listening over the radio or behind the wheel free advertising for fedex and ups well, i know i speak for the 330 million plus americans that we say thank god for truckers yeah, that is true the reason why there's food in my supermarket and at target is because of these people so they definitely deserve the praise I'm glad a lot of people liked and retweeted it too. Oh, and that's the end of it. And of course, there's the guidelines. All right, let's read the uh, news articles. Um, let's see, where are we at? 18 minutes? All right, might as well do this. Intel heats up race for quantum computing. Let's see. So, what is their quantum computer doing? It could control hot qubits. Okay. At a temperature above 1 Kelvin, a paper published Wednesday in collaboration with QTech. Intel explains how its research in the field of future commercial quantum computers. God, I can only imagine what's going to happen. Like, these computers I'm using now, or you and I are using, are going to be completely obsolete. Hmm. I'm also curious. Can you use quantum computing in, like, graphics cards? So that, like, you know, our Beetle game is going to be, like, even more crazy looking. Intel says that it works with Q-Tech. Has proven a critical hypothesis. Silicon, silicon spin qubits could operate at a different higher temperature than the current quantum system. Only one step closer to scalability. Wow. How long is this article? Oh, my God. This is kind of long. Um... Research for represents meaningful advancements as we spin the qubits. So I guess they're sp spinning the qubits. That's interesting. 
Let's see. Given the resemblance, it transitions that Intel has been manufacturing for more 50 years. Ah. Our demonstration of hot qubits that can operate at higher temperatures when we maintain high fidelity paves the way to allow a variety of local qubit control options without impacting qubit performance. By handling hot qubits at scale to the thousands and millions, Intel engineers can apply quantum computing to practical problems. Running in a few limitations regarding the overall size of a system, being better equipped to handle complex electronics that are needed to control a large quantum system. The administration of hot and universal quantum lines or semiconductor blah, 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 blah. providing a scalable approach towards okay. So it looks like there's a problem because I know the original problem with quantum computing is it can only solve like one or two specific problems. You gotta tell it what to do. Uh, even that is already pretty difficult. Here it looks like they're trying to figure out how to get it to be more general purpose, but then because it's hot. You have to spin it around and keep it cool. So I guess that's why it's called a hot qubit. Man, that means it's going to have to be kind of big. How do you miniaturize something like this? Intel is among several big tech companies, including Google and IBM. They're also trying to figure out how to do quantum computing. Let's see. Cy Quantum Corp, a Silicon Valley startup, is working on a photon-based commercial quantum computer that aims at 1 million qubits which is far more than Google's leading double-digit qubit machine that can complete in three minutes a computation that requires 10,000 years running on today's standard supercomputer. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Hackers are going to be loving this shit. Um, let's see. Cracking Bitcoin, for example, will roughly take 1,500 qubits, according to Dragos Illy, a, a quantum computing encryption researcher at Imperial College of London. Oh boy, challenges low priority because of the interpersonal nature ability of quantum computer, which is finally different from a typical computer. It, qu it requires a wide range of collaborators from the fields of computer science, electrical engineering, math, and physics. Well, we got plenty of these people, so, you know. If we run short, we're just going to import them from India or China, so it's not really that big of a deal. Man, I wouldn't be surprised if China already is working on their own quantum shit. That's actually going to be kind of dangerous because once they have quantum computers, they're going to use the CCPs, is going to use it to fuck everybody over. Because people are already pretty mad at China for coronavirus. Then what's going to happen when they start hacking everything? Speaking of hacking, uh, for some reason China also has forbidden their citizens from game video gaming with foreigners. So <laughs> that's pretty funny. In a video clip from 2018, Intel's Clark said that he and his team have a goal of changing the world, but it will take time. Q Tech here in Netherlands. We still think that we're about 10 years away from something that will affect your life or mine. Yeah, I'll definitely be a multi deca millionaire by then, so we'll be a problem. We'll be able to definitely deal with it. Also, I'll we'll also know the effects of my game at that point, whether it's actually a hit or if it's just you know a nice little thing. I mean, it pro I mean, it probably will be a hit. But as long as I have money, I can always buy plenty of Facebook advertising ads or maybe even YouTube ads. YouTube ads, Bitcoin and crypto allows twenty days and removes everything. So let's find out what's actually happened with this idiot. <clears throat> uh, let's see. So Tony Vase has been banned. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So I asked Gilly Quickly from a single video word in the entire channel. Might be a career channel. We'll, be, we'll just trade during the day. I have a nutrition YouTube career channel at night. <clears throat> Cryptocurrency spur the year reporting increasing our issues and popular reads mother view being really challenged for receiving strikes without warning. Yeah, I never had any problems. In December, hundreds of billion Bitcoin were signing rules and really soon cracking down. How are those who are essentially restored? I'm just said the world's leading enemy, the wrong color flying kind of river is harmful. So far, the YouTube has not come out on why eternity days, saying that only validated. Yeah, so I think what happened was like my personal complaints was he's just promoting too much of this little scam academy and too many people are losing money. If you look at the comments for Tony Day's videos, a lot of people just constantly kept saying every video, I followed his advice, I lost a lot of money. I followed his advice, I lost a lot of money. I followed his advice, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, that's pretty much what happens. You know, in my case, well, A, I'm small, and B, I also don't sell anything. So you just take it as is. You can decide to do it or not do it. Right? 
So uh, that's pretty much why uh, my thing's safe. As for Tony Vase, he's actually pushing a scam, essentially. And on top of it, nobody likes him. So, you know, is anyone going to give a shit? Not really, all right? Nobody, remember, nobody likes Tony Vase, all right? At least with Alex Jones, at least some people like Alex Jones, right? You know, us, us right-wing types, you know, at least. But the point is, someone likes him. In Tony Vase's case, doing bad things and nobody likes him, period. So yeah, it's a, he's an easy target. I'm actually kind of surprised um, he lasted as long as he did. But nonetheless, you know, it's not good that he got banned. So again, to be fair, even though I'm not a free speech absolutist, he did, Tony Vez does have a right to be on on uh, on YouTube. But these are some really shitty thumbnails. Can we find something that's not stupid looking? All right, this looks less stupid looking. But, um, yeah. They say he got a warning on his channel. They didn't respond. So that probably means he was doing something bad. But again, the main problem, I think he still would, Tony Vase would still be on YouTube if he didn't make so many bad calls because he consistently makes bad calls. And it's, it gets to the point where it's like, what's the point of having this idiot on? All right. But it's gonna be good because now I get to uh, get a little bit, uh, get a little slice of his scammed viewers, and they can come to me and make a lot of money. So um, yeah. So to be honest, I don't really care. I don't really mind. Good riddance, right? Of course, it's bad for free speech, but I mean, by now you should figure out we don't have free speech. <laughs> and when and when the uh, when Nick Fuentes and conservatives take over, I wouldn't be surprised if we started doing the same shit too. That's the thing I'm thinking about. Right, because I'm already ahead of the curve on that. I'm just thinking we're gonna become a Christian nation. We might make it official, and then we're just gonna start banning like un certain unchristian things. All right, that's why he wants to ban porn. And it's, why would it stop at porn? You know, so um, that's that's what I'm thinking about. But we'll see. Because <clears throat> remember, in the past, the F word meant you couldn't say the word fuck. Right. Yeah, all the F word means you can't say, I still, I can't say it right now, all right? Because now the left is in charge, right? Everyone's just being a censorious little asshole. So can we get get some consistency? You know, so it's going to be, a, it's going to be an interesting challenge going forward. <clears throat> all right. So that being said, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or I really want to sneeze, but it seems like I can't really sneeze. Uh, from where you're watching this from, or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash uh, JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Especially now that uh, all of the scam victims from Tony Vase's channel will hopefully find some of them will find their way to my channel and actually make some real money for for, for once. Uh, so anyway, I'm done for the day uh, for the weekend. So unless something significant happens, I will see you all on Monday. Because I really do like this new schedule. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, there's really not much happening today. Right? It's just the standard stuff. So, yeah. It looks pretty good. You know, markets are up. You know, they'll be down. Whatever. All right. But, again, nothing major is going to change until we reopen America. So, one day at a time. Uh, maybe we'll see something next week. But definitely by May 1st, which is two Friday, exactly two Fridays from now. We should definitely see uh, reopenings everywhere, and then we could go from there. But my guess is we should be seeing improvements uh, almost in, uh, basically instantly because of it. So, and that's what we want. Anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, tomorrow, Mon I'll see you all on Monday's videos, and uh, enjoy the weekend. Thanks, Jutsa Chan, uh, JFC Coin, Four Hundred Four Coin. Uh, we could probably get rid of some of these stupid things here. Yeah, here's our thumbnail.